What's up, guys? Uh, this is Jay, and of course, it's Jay. But just an update I got the engine out of the car, and, and dropping the whole subframe is the most easiest thing you can do instead of taking it out from the uh, top. Taking it out from the top. So, with that all being said, now push pause whatever you do do not do this <laughs> do this at your own risk <laughs> so but yeah but everything is like all the wires was easy to unhook um but i'm gonna have to hook this back up because when i was when the engine fell not what i fell out but when i was uh, bringing down the uh the engine with the thing that came out of the uh the steering column which isn't too bad because I can fix that. See, it's right there. You just go right back in the hole. How cool is that? Look at that. Everything is so, like, everything is right there. But I would hate to uh, get the, if there's a sensor in the back that I will not like to take out because, like, right in the crack of the car. But I'm going to have to get a star thing, a star wrench or something. You take the dry shaft off right there see if I can zoom it yep right there uh, I'm gonna have to get one of them and that's about it like to take the uh, pull the engine I'm gonna use the trailblazer since I will be replacing the engine anyway so that's what I'm gonna do and what else but yeah like all the wires like this right there and that's so cool but so yeah, i'm sorry that i couldn't get this all on video because i was too focused on getting i was too focused on getting the engine out uh, i'm sorry i couldn't do a video so but yeah just just a quick update uh i got the engine out and what I'm going to do is pull this one out when I uh, take off the dry shaft. We're going to pull this one out. And then, um, even though I'm going to still get that engine, I'm going to take the all the uh, timing, timing, uh, timing thing off so I can see if what was going on inside the engine. So, yeah. I am going to have to get a new uh, uh, wheel sensor thing right here because that one broke in. And yeah, this is what you get when you drop the whole frame. You get the whole engine at once. So, I like that. Look at that. Everything is like once I get the engine, everything is like basically plug in and that's it. And. That still got water in it. So, if you like this video, this short little video of uh, me doing this, and if you think I made the right decision of removing the the uh, whole assembly for the car from the engine, uh, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think, and more awesome updates will come on this vehicle. Oh, by the way, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and yeah.